neuropathic neuropathic ankle right side secondary to diabetes diabetic neuro right side left side right side why do you say so uh, the patient uh, developed a pain and swelling uh, eight months back which was insidious and uncertain progressive in nature as well as he is a known case of type 2 diabetes mellitus for the last 25 years on insulin with irregular treatment. His diabetic level has uh, not been under control. He is a known alcoholic and smoking for the last, smoker for the last 35 years. So, all these things with the swelling and the pain was progressing with the involvement of the... Is the neuropathic joint painful? No oh, sir, the pain is drastically reduced. Slowly. Now the patient is having pain only at the... Technically to say neuropathic joint, what is very important? The sensory involvement. The autonomic changes as well as the motor sensor. Yeah. Yes. So justify your diagnosis. Why do you think so? It's a neuropathic joint. You say? Uh, there is autonomic changes <coughs> like nail brittling of the nails, uh, skin, uh, shiny skin, swelling, and decrease the sweating, loss of hair, and diffuse swelling of the right leg. It's all due to autonomic uh, nervous system disturbances. Because that, that is can be possible with the diabetes also. Yes, sir. And the other thing is the sensory changes in the sole of foot is not having sensation so it, at all. It could be because of diabetic neuropathy. Mm. What we are saying is, how do you say it is neuropathic joint? Right. And uh, the main thing is the, when I palpated. The subtalar giant, it is showing crepitus and uh, You're pain. saying neuropathic ankle or neuropathic subtalar? Neuropathic uh, subtalar giant, mainly subtalar giant. Ankle is not involved. Ankle is not involved? Not at all. Put your hand here. <coughs> what do you call it? Crepit crepitus. This joint is there. Here, ankle, ankle joint and dome of the talus. You said yeah. only the subtalar joint is involved. Subtalar is almost ankylosed. Okay, but that's where, where you can see the Yes, the crepitus I am seeing here in the ankle joint. So there is involvement of ankle joint? Yes. Okay. Subtalar. 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 There is something movement. about subtalar ankylosis. What is that? There is movement, no movement at all in the subtalar joint. <laughs> the question is there, why do you think so it's a charcoal joint? What is the reason on that you can say this is a charcoal arthropathy? Or you said a charcoal joint, which joint you say you are talking about? The subtalar and the ankle joint. Have you changed? Both. It's both? Yes. What are the clinical findings on that you can say? Uh, the History as well as examination that you can say this is possible to have charcoal arthropathy. <coughs> In the history, uh, he is having the long standing uncontrolled diabetes. Yes. Uh, in the examination points, he is a chronic alcoholic also for the last 35 years, chronic smoker. That, uh, and the, the clinical examination wise, there is painless. Uh, Crepitus and exaggerated. Painless. Yes, painless. Painless. Uh, what is painless? The movements. <laughs> painless. So the joint is normal. Whether the, the size of the, the, the size left of the side the is the right la, enlarged. La, yeah. Yeah, that is enlarged. Uh, is, it, uh, is it common features in the, uh, this one? No. Sir. Any other? That. Any other the septic arthritis or the Synovitis, you will get the enlargement of the joint? The long yes. Uh, in large scale cases, you won't get in acute cases only. So, this is a very, compared to the normal side, it is very much swollen. Okay. And large. So, so painless. So, painless. So, one of the things on clinical examination is a painless and large joint. Yes. yes. Anything else? And Anything else? Palpation, uh, crepitus. Yes, crepitus is present. Present. Okay. And uh, loss of movements at subtalar joint. 
loss of movement at subtotal. Is it's a characteristic of Charcot or is not characteristic of Charcot? Yes. Excess movement or abnormal mobility is characteristic yeah. or stiffness is characteristic? Ex excessive movement is characteristic. You, you are stick to it. Uh, one diagnosis charcoal and say it is stiffness of the subtalar joint. Stiffness of subtalar joint. Yeah, you, are, you are always talking about subtalar joint. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why you are so very particular about that? The ankle is swollen. No, even the mid tarsal area, there is extension of swelling. Yeah. Right? And then when, you, when you are trying to move, is it that painful? No. But you didn't uh, talk about the gait of the patient. Did you check yes. for the gait? Yes, sir. Can he walk without pain? Yes, sir. He's comfortably walking? Yes, sir. Uh, do you think that that's a point uh, in favor of your diagnosis? A joint which is so much damaged. Yes, sir. And the patient is walking. Without pain. Without pain. Then that, that should be the first point first that should come up. Yes, sir. Right. If yes, you have got a major issue, no, inflammatory arthropathy, you should not walk like that. Yes, sir. Then locally, is it walk? He is walking without... Yeah, local, local walk. Local walk is slightly... Slight is there. there. No, is slight there. walk, local walk is there. Yes. But not a major inflammation. Yes. So it's basically the inflammation is much less. Yes. In spite of such a huge swelling. Yes. Right? So osteoarthritis is one condition where it's a cord arthritis. Yes. Neuropathy, one phase it will become cord arthritis. Right? When you palpate and you are getting that type of... Uh, mm. Damage and you are having all the clinical features, it shows that there is a gross damage, but when you examine, there is no local walk. You know, most often it is osteoarthritis. Yes. You know, that, that's the way that we look at it. Then another condition where you can have that is the, the uh, osteonecrosis that you can have. And the third condition where you can have that is a neuropathic joint in one phase. Inflammatory phase is also there. Yes. So if that is subsiding, then yes. you will get cold out. So these are the situation points that you support your diagnosis. Starting from the gate, the history of diabetes, of course. Yes. So, what do you do now? Uh, now the patient is uh, uh, having the swelling. Compared to the uh, last three months, he was having increased swelling and increased pain, and erythema. Skin changes were more. But right now, he is complaining that the swelling is a bit reduced. But still, I would like to give him a total contact cost. Again, repeating no, the that, that. Be very careful what will you do. Yes, that person is coming. Yes, sir. I will investigate to the, confirm my diagnosis. See, that's why I always tell you, no, I always tell my students to yes, write down in the paper, otherwise, you'll forget it. This yes. happens every time. Five minutes back, he's told you that. Again, you are reviewing this. No? In the exam also, you do the same. I'll investigate yeah. further to confirm my diagnosis. What investigation? I'll do basically the first <laughs> x ray of. Uh, Right angle, AP lateral. X-ray. Yes, this is an X-ray of uh, Mr. Solomon, 66, is 55 year old male, of a right ankle, AP, and lateral view of mature skeleton, showing. Uh, yeah. Read that. <coughs> the destruction of the destruction of subtalar and uh, <laughs> <laughs> here. Yes, yes, sir. Uh, there is also a talonavicular destruction is there, as well as in the lateral side we have the destruction of the calcane cuboid joint also, and uh, between the cuneiform, intercuneiform joints also destroyed. Yes. What about the ankle joint? Is it normal? He's thinking. He's You're thinking subtalar only. Just take, yes. see Just above the, the above the subtalar. What it comes above the subtalar? What one? Ankle. No, above the subtalar. Above the subtalar. What one? Talus. Talus. Normal? Do you think so? If the talus is normal? Anterior part of talus. Can you see? Yes. Can you see the dome of talus? Is it normal? No, oh, sir, it is just 
the anterior part is this. So in the anterior part, the articulates which which joints? Yeah. Okay. The uh, tibia. Tibia? Yes. Sir. So the, what is that joint? That is ankle joint. Ah, tibia or tala joint. Yeah, it's an ankle, it's an anterior part of almost trellis is that's right. damaged, it's destroyed. So the it's a portion. The head of the tiles is can you see the head of the tiles there? Can't see. Can't see. Can't see. So destroyed. Yes. And what do you find anteriorly after the the lateral this area? What is that? What is that? Small small pieces like that. Can't see. It's called bony debris. Yeah, bony debris is a mark of this condition. You get this in your body chart. Yes. There are typical X-ray features where you can see the sclerosis, osteophonia, damage, destroyed, then unstable joint. Everything with the spickle pieces all around the bone. There are disorganized joint, right? Disorganized debris. Yeah. These are the classical of the charcoal joints. Okay. What will you do? How will you treat it? So now I'll uh, give him. Uh, total contact cast dial I'll ask him to why do you think so total contact cast would you prescribe why, why uh, main thing is uh, to reduce the swelling and second thing is uh, to make him non weight bearing and also to avoid uh, uh, <coughs> how long will you give the total contact cast no, sir, I will frequently change it how long how long so uh, you one month, one month, one month, one month. Weekly. Yeah. So weekly you change so What is the treatment of charcoal joints? Can you fuse it? Can you fuse it? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. No. You will get, if you fuse it, the result will be good. Not at this stage. Is it on? Not this stage. Means he is only stage. 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 Okay. I thought he. No, what? Result of the fusion or result of the fusion on the very bottom. What is his problem? Why do you want to do anything? What What do you want to treat him for? In terms of symptomatology. Ah, uh, that is mainly instability. Is there any other way other than surgery to give him more stable? Press. Press. Why? What are the results of fusion? Is it? it is always there is chance of recurrence and the failure. 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 There is failure. Never mind the recurrence. Yes. First you have to get the fusion. Fusion is uh, always for not possible. The arthrosis is very very common. Yes, sir. So sure. The pseudarthrosis rate is sixty percent or more yes. in these cases. So the only indication for pseudarthrosis is a grossly deformed foot where you want to correct the deformity, yes. ignoring the possibility of pseudarthrosis. So you accept that there will be a pseudarthrosis, but you want to correct the deformity to change the foot weight bearing pattern. That's it. That's the only indication for surgery. Otherwise, if you do surgery, you accept that there is likely to be a failure. But the pseudarthrosis rate, literature wise, in Charcot's joint. The T is silent, it's a French name. Charcot's joint, it is 60% is the literature rates that are described. And the management is management of pain, because you think it is pain free. No, most of them present you with pain and swelling. At time of pain, you rest, you can give a splint, you restricted weight bearing, that takes care of pain. Subsequently, you give them a brace. You can give a plaster zone, fully molded orthotic device to distribute the weight evenly across all the joints and that's all that is required and protection from the anesthetic uh, but so that he has patellar tendon bearing brace you know that will be also good enough and again whenever you do surgery on this patient always counsel them this patient may go for an amputation that also should be done in all cases of uh, this type of uh, which joint is involved say it's a knee joint then it is unstable, he cannot walk at all, above all. In the foot, he still can walk. So, if the instability is so much, again, it depends on the type of neuropathy. In pain, if you are getting in diabetic in the foot, and the stability is not that much a problem. In the knee, sometimes you are forced to do something, because he cannot walk at all. So, foot usually can manage with some kind of risk.
Mostly it can be managed with the orthosis. Yeah, most of the time it is orthosis that you need to give. The type of uh, atrophy that is there, there are two types that are described. One is the hypertrophic variety, the other is the atrophic variety. So you need, you have both kinds that are there. So if you look at the literature on neuropathic uh, joints, there's hypertrophic variety and the atrophic variety, and there's a mixed variety. So you can classify the joints according to each of these. I think uh, 43 year old lady, diabetic, same problem. So it is what she has come, deformity, just have attention. Yes, yes. You have seen this case? No, sir. Yeah, he hasn't seen wrong. <laughs> sir, here, yeah, angle is not much affected. Maybe the subtala joints, midfoot. So midfoot is there. So what will you do with that? You have the on what ground would be the spotter's diagnosis? What diagnosis? What is the uh, Because uh, the deformity and the swelling is more pronounced in the midfoot region. Yes. Whenever you see in a diabetic lady or diabetic patient in the adult, yes, sir. when you see in uh, long standing diabetes with the foot swelling, always keep the charcuterie possibility. Yes. The possibility of the ankle, possibility of subtalar, possibility of the midfoot. Mid it's very common to have that. Again, this is the when see what she is having. He is having plenovalgus. Is it so? Yes. So she has got the deformity with the plenovalgus in that. What do we do with the charcot? Do you suspect about charcot? Uh, like to correct the deformity? Again, arthros. Arthros. Arthrosis. Yes. You have to say that yes. If it is not troubling, or do anything in that, your aim is to prevent the further damage. Basically, that we are having the unstable joints. This is not having painful. You give the orthosis to prevent the further damage. So it may manage very well as the foot and ankle will be managed very well with the orthosis. And you give the some sort of rigid orthosis. So it is because it's a weight bearing. The very commonly have the wear and tear, and sometimes the instability is very common. It cannot be controlled with the plastic or propyl, polypropylene orthosis. So sometimes you have to give very rigid orthosis. Same time. You have to address about the senses problem. So before prescribing the orthosis, you need to describe both how is the instability and how is the sensation. Yeah, there is a review article on uh, neuropathic joint, neuropathy foot, uh, 2016 in injury. You know, go back and read about it. There are all methods of treatment they have discussed, it. and this type of list franks uh, they were suggesting the uh, fusion with a different type of plate and different type of. Uh, the extent of the plating on the medial side, actually doing the arthrodesis in that thing. You read about that, but that's not for the uh, discussion here. Yeah, so, because that will give you a wrong idea. Most of the time, so, the yeah. Most of the time, it fails. Yeah. <laughs> so don't don't not to, not only that, Babu. It's not only that. The another thing is that is multiple way, mainly written with the idea of the patients in the first. Our patients are different. Different. Yes. Yes. They yes. see the arthros because advantage is yes. when they want to square, they can remove it. They're still square. Yeah. Fusion, you can't remove it. In the exam, you are not going to answer that. But when you are know, writing a theory, of course, you can write all those things. That's the use of that particular theory. Again, in the West, they use a lot of the footwear. So they have the pleno valgus or some problem because of, the, because of the cold. They have to wear the footwear. So a lot of surgeries has been described because of the shoe wear. Where in the Indian, it is not in the house, everybody removes the shoes. So this our uh, population is totally different. And again, look at her, how comfortably she is walking. Yeah, yeah. Right. She is not comfortable. Right. Yes. But it's not progress. No, the instability is not a very prominent feature in this uh, diabetes. Yes. Okay.